pairs of shoes less than $20. Latte, please, with no whipped cream. Latte for you. Yes, please. Thank you. what is up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here hi I'm Kaylin I am 25 and I film a lot of entrepreneurship lifestyle and productivity content you guys know I love filming productive day in my life so my channel you guys love watching them except today's is gonna be a little bit differently because I actually leave for Punta Cana tomorrow morning at 3 o'clock in the morning I still have so much to get done I'm actually sitting in front of Target right now because I still need to prep and pack for the trip and I'm excited to take you guys along with me we have a lot of errands to run we need to still pack and I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I'm bringing. I am also going to be vlogging that trip, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I am very excited. I've never done like a prep and pack with me or a travel vlog ever on my channel before. So I'm excited to also have some new content on my channel. I think you guys are really going to like it. Like you guys saw, I just went through Starbucks. I got an iced coffee, which is very much needed on this busy day. I've actually been up for a little bit. This morning was a little chaotic. I got up, I did some cleaning, and I actually just got out of my nail appointment. I'll you guys my nails I think they turned out so good I did get gel X this time typically I just get regular gel but since this is more of a special occasion I wanted to get gel X just because it does last so long too so I asked for a soft almond shape with a light like sheer pink and this is what she did and I love them I did also make a to-do list for the rest of the day so I need to get some last minute things at Target finish packing do some laundry and clean do some things for the business and then I already did make Maya's food she staying with my parents for the week and so we make her like homemade dog food so I did already do that and I did get, go to my nail appointments and then I just have a little target list here I just need some like last minute things like some body moisturizer leave-in conditioner some dry shampoo some oil toothbrushes I'm also gonna look for some sandals just because I really don't have any sandals that can get wet like by the pool or the beach it has been I think over five years since I've actually gone to the beach so I need to get a few things to kind of prepare for that but I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said though I'm going to run into target quickly grab some last minute things and then I'll show you guys what I pick up I'm back home from Target. I ended up getting a little bit more than expected, which happens every time. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I picked up and then we're gonna start packing because it is already 3.30 in the afternoon and I still have so much left to do. Today is definitely one of those days where it's taking me forever for like each individual task, like two to three hours a piece. So I definitely need to pick it up. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got because I did get some good stuff and then I'm going to start packing. The first thing that I got is actually something that I did go in for. This is the Cetaphil Advanced Relief Lotion with Shea Butter. This is my everyday body moisturizer. I've been using Cetaphil body moisturizer for years. I love it. I feel like it's super hydrating. So we got a fresh one for the trip. And then I also got the Palmer's Skin Therapy Oil. Once again, I use this every single night. It just really softens your skin. It's really hydrating. And especially with like the harsh sun and just like being a little bit sunburnt, I definitely wanted to take this. But I have this thing where I throw out all of my caps to every everything like my hairspray dry shampoo like I just can never keep track of the caps and which is never really a big deal like day to day but then when I'm traveling I need to buy like everything brand new because I obviously don't have the caps to everything and so it'll just spill out so this is something that I do already have I typically do one pump of this per two pumps of moisturizer except I threw out the cap to it so I needed to buy a brand new one I also got two pairs of sandals which I desperately needed I have a lot of tennis shoes and a lot of like booty heels but i don't really have any sandals for the summer i pretty much just wear like my crocs and so obviously i wanted something a little bit nicer so 
These were very affordable. Target's having 20% off all of their women's sandals right now. The first pair was $19.99. I got them at 20% off, so they came out to like $15.99, I think. They're just a really simple brown sandal, but I really like flats like these because I feel like they go really well with dresses. And like I said, I don't really have any nice sandals like this, and they're surprisingly comfy. I got mine in a size 8. They fit really, really well, and so I'll try to link them down below for you guys in case you guys want to find them because, like I said, they're 20 percent off right now i think that these would be perfect for the summer to go with like jeans you can dress them up dress them down so i grabbed these and then i also got these these are pretty much just for me to wear by the pool because they are like this plastic material they're basically like a plastic pair of birkenstocks i got mine in a size 7 they definitely ran pretty big these were only 10 dollars full price which i was super surprised about just because even though they do feel like pretty light and flimsy, they still feel a lot nicer quality than $10. And they are the perfect like plastic kind of material to wear by the pool, to wear when they get wet, it's not gonna like soak into the sandal, they'll just kind of, you know, run off of it. So I'm excited about these two. I feel like both of these were a really good find for the price. Both pairs of shoes, less than $20. And I think they're both super cute and definitely very wearable for the summer. Okay, if the angle changed, my camera died. But I'm going to show you guys the swimsuit that I picked up next because I think it is so pretty. I haven't tried it on yet, so I'm not quite sure how it fits. I'm going to try it on after this. But this is the swimsuit that I picked up. This one's definitely a little bit outside of my comfort zone because of the color. I'm definitely very like neutrals and black. Obviously, if you guys watch my channel, you know. But I think that this one could look really cute in the spring and summer with a tan. So this is what the top looks like. I really like it because the um, straps are kind of ruffled and then the back is pretty much just like a bra. The top was $18 and I got a size small. It does also have pads in it too that are removable. And then the bottoms, I also got a size small in. They kind of look like a higher waist bottoms. This is what the suit looks like. I am very excited. I really hope it fits. The bottoms were pretty affordable too. I think that they were... Yeah, they were $15, so once again, I'll link it down below for you guys. I'll let you guys know how it fits too. We'll try it on after this to see if I'm going to pack it or return it, but I am very excited. I really hope it fits because I don't have a bikini this color. And I just picked up a few like other little travel things. So um, I just thought that this was so cute. It is a little native um shampoo it is the volumizing shampoo it was only three dollars i grabbed a little dry shampoo because once again i have a dry shampoo that i love but i threw out the cap to it and i grabbed a lint roller because we're actually out of ours and we definitely need to take one and then the last things i got from target i grabbed these little earrings which i thought were really cute for date night or whatever when we're there and also obviously when we're home. I love my gold hoops, obviously. I wear them all day, every day, except I thought that these ones were a little bit different, which I liked. So I liked how these were just like a little bit of a chunkier hoop and then you have like two smaller ones too. So I picked these up. These were only $7.99 for all three. So once again, if it kind of gets lost or damaged during travel, it's not too big of a deal versus like bringing obviously really expensive jewelry. And then the last two things that I got, I got the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Definitely my favorite drugstore mascara. So grab this and then I got the Sunbum Coconut um, SPF Lip Balm to take as well. So that is everything that I grabbed at Target. And then I ran into Sephora. And I'll also show you guys what I got at Marshall's yesterday. It's only one thing, but it is for the trip. So from Sephora, I grabbed two things. I actually ran, or actually not even ran out. I broke my brow pencil this morning. So I definitely needed to go there before we left. This is my all time favorite brow pencil. I've been wearing this for years. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow. I get mine in the shade number four, which is a warm, deep brown. And then the last thing that I grabbed from Sephora was this Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I wasn't gonna do it, but I had points. So I was like, you know what? We might as well try this. I've seen this all over Instagram, all over YouTube. Everybody talks about how much they love it. So I got mine in the shade, I think it's cherry. It's supposed to be a lip balm and lip tint in one. The packaging, super pretty. It's like a soft matte finish. It was also a little bit pricier. It was, I think, $24. I did have points, so it came out to $14, but 
Um, definitely a little bit pricier. I've actually never tried Summer Fridays before. I know they're supposed to be a, a pretty good brand, but we're gonna try this out. Like I said, it's supposed to be a lip tint too. This is so red. It's definitely a lot more red than I was expecting, but I think it could be really cute with like actual makeup on. I don't really have too much makeup on right now, so I feel like it looks extra red. I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around with this. Like I said, I think that this would be maybe good I don't know it's kind of red for every day but i'll keep you guys updated on that but the last thing that i grabbed for the trip at marshall's yesterday is this kula spf i was actually going to go to sephora today and get it and we went into marshall's yesterday because devin wanted to look and i got it for 14.99 and i think it's originally around 32 so supposed to be a high protection non-toxic sunscreen and it's fragrance free and organic so this is the one it is their classic uh body sunscreen they do also have it in fragrances but i decided to get the fragrance free one yeah i think that's officially everything that i got for the trip um today and yesterday i did get some things here and there that i'll show you guys on the actual punta cana vlog because it's already packed i'm gonna start packing everything up my skincare hair care makeup and then we're gonna start putting everything in the suitcase i will also show you guys how i packed the clothes in my suitcase this is my first time like really traveling using packing cubes and they are definitely a game changer i've always seen people use them but i've never actually used them myself yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put all this away and then i don't know if you guys can see it back there but we'll start packing Also, in case anybody was wondering, here is what the swimsuit top looks like on. I can't decide on if I like it. I think I do. I think it's just a little bit different, but I really like the color. I really like the fit of it. It's just the sleeves are a little bit more ruffly than I was expecting. I don't know. Like I said, I can't really decide on if I like it or not. I think I am going to keep it. I think it's just different than what I typically wear and it's a pretty unique swimsuit, but I think it's still cute. It's a little bit more feminine with the ruffles. I think that they're just a little bit bigger than what I was expecting, but comment down below though what you guys think. Like I said, I think it's just unique, but I think it's still cute. And I think with the tan, with some gold jewelry on, like I already do by the pool, I think it's like a very fun feminine suit. It's just a little bit different, but it's definitely different than anything that I have, which is good. making progress as you guys saw i packed up my skincare my hair care my makeup i have my makeup brushes in here and then i just have some of the accessories that i'm taking laid out here i'm about to pack those up in a second but i'm trying to pack as minimally as possible for eight days so in my skincare i pretty much just brought everything that i need for my everyday skincare routine i have my moisturizer, a night cream that kind of goes on top of your moisturizer. I have my deodorant, which typically I try to wear natural deodorant, except you guys in the Caribbean heat, there's no way I am going with my natural deodorant just because it really doesn't work that effectively. So if I'm gonna be sweating that much, I definitely need this one. So I have my deodorant, some facial oil, my contacts, um, the summer Fridays, lip butter that obviously you guys just saw. I have some facial oil, my Laneige lip mask is in there. Obviously my retainers, which are gross, but 
Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I have my eye cream too. So I think that's pretty much everything that I'm going to need for my skincare. I got these glasses at Target, I want to say last month when we booked our trip, which they are just like super fun. I got them on clearance. I want to say they were only like $4 or $4.50. So I'm going to pack those. Um, my jewelry, which I'll show you guys in a second, how I'm going to pack that. I'm just bringing a straightener because I actually use a straightener to straighten my hair and to curl it. And I'm bringing my Revlon um, blowout blow dryer as well. Um, makeup brushes go in here. As you guys saw, I have my makeup and my hair accessories in here, which really nothing exciting. This little thing though, I got it from, I wanna say Crate and Barrel like five or six years ago, and it fits so much more in here than it looks like, but I just have my eyeshadow palette. I'm just bringing like really basic hair accessories just because I'm sure I'm not gonna be doing too much. So I just brought a few headbands, hair clips, um, hair ties, obviously some bobby pins. And then on the makeup side, I try to keep it pretty minimal. I just brought, um, you know, pretty much what I do for my everyday natural makeup routine just because I don't tend to wear a lot of makeup on the beach because I'm hot and nobody has time to get ready every day. So I'm just bringing a lot of my everyday products and a lot of cream products too. So that way they last a little bit longer. So I have that in there. And then the last things are these two hair products. So I have my Function of Beauty leave-in conditioner. I use this every day after I get out of the shower to detangle and condition my hair. So it's only like nine or $10 at Target. So it's pretty affordable and I really like this one. So I get the one for wavy hair. And then I have my Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. I saw Delaney Childs talk about this before, so I decided to try it out. I've never tried Eva NYC out, but she always talks about them. And I really like this. You can't use too much, otherwise it'll make your hair oily. I have pretty oily hair, and if you use the right amount, it won't make it greasy or anything, but it's just really nice for protecting your hair. It's pretty much everything free. You guys can read everything that it's free of right there, but it's just a really good everyday spray. It protects your hair from heat, and then as you guys can see all the benefits right there too so i'm going to bring this once again i think this is only like 10 or 11 dollars at target so both of these travel really well so we're bringing both of those okay the last thing that i need to pack up is my jewelry so i will show you guys what i'm bringing once again i'm trying to keep it a little bit more minimal but i always i always 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 overpack i'm definitely an overpacker the first thing that you need is a paper towel or a t-shirt or just something where you can roll up your jewelry in the first piece of jewelry that i'm bringing is an anklet i never wear anklets even though like i said i'm trying to be minimal i think that this would be really cute on the beach so i'm bringing this gold anklet honestly i have no idea where this is from i've had it for about a year so i'm going to lay this you guys really can't see i'll show you in a second but i'm going to lay this a long ways um hot dog style no wait this is hamburger style so we're gonna lay this hamburger style on the paper towel the next thing that i am bringing is let's see everything's tangled together is this necklace from princess polly if you guys watched i think it was my last princess polly haul that i did with them i got this necklace i think it is so pretty it's kind of like a choker but it has little colorful gems in it so i think this would be really pretty on the beach i'm bringing this and once again laying it hamburger style on the paper towel the next thing that i'm bringing is a silver necklace next i'm bringing uh, a pair of gold hoops obviously because i wear them all the time so i'm bringing a pair of gold hoops i'm bringing the new ones that i got from target and then i'm also going to bring this necklace i should actually i'm probably gonna wear it on the plane i'm also bringing this gold necklace that i got too i think this is from target i think that pretty much covers all boundaries i don't have actually i don't have silver earrings but i honestly don't really like silver jewelry though so i think i'm going to just not bring silver earrings and just wear these <laughs> anyways this is what your paper towel should look like as you guys can see everything is laid out long ways on here we have some space in between okay so what you're gonna do is actually roll the paper towel but keep each piece of jewelry in its own section of paper towel so that way they don't get tangled so it's a little bit hard at first but you just want to make sure it's all on the paper towel and you're gonna roll it over and I'm keeping the anklet nice and tucked in here. 
I'm gonna roll it then one other time and then I'm going to put the next necklace in there. So now we can roll this necklace in there. You can see it's nice and separated. Then we're gonna roll the anklet in there. And then you just have your earrings, which your earrings honestly don't even need to go in the paper towel, but if you want to, you can. And you have a paper towel full of your jewelry. And now all you have to do is just sometimes I'll tape the ends or just make sure that the ends are tucked so that way it doesn't roll out the side. Now your jewelry is nice and packed in here. It definitely is a little bit janky, but if you guys don't wanna spend money on like a carrying case for your jewelry and you need to somehow pack them and you don't have anything to put them in, just use a t-shirt, use a paper towel, anything that you can roll and it'll keep it nice and organized. I've done this for the past few years of traveling. And all you have to do is just unroll your paper towel and everything will stay organized in its separate section and nothing is tangled together. suitcase is officially packed there are some things that i need to put in there just some things that i'm going to use tonight because obviously we need to go to sleep tonight and i still need to use some things to get up and get ready tomorrow so like my hairbrush toothbrush toothpaste everything like that i'm gonna put in here probably tomorrow morning right before we leave but the rest of everything is nice and packed up i actually got this suitcase for this trip this is a cow pack and I got it at Sierra Trading Post actually for $99. And I really like it. I don't love the color of the inside, but it's really good quality. I like the design on it. It does have a lock on it. Overall, I think it's a really good suitcase, especially for the price. I actually was looking at the base suitcases, Shea Mitchell's brand. In the future, I would love to upgrade to her line of suitcases. I think the Weekender bags are really cute. I love her nude suitcases, but they're just very expensive and we don't travel that often. So we got our suitcases at Marshall's or Sierra Trading Post. I think it's owned by the same company, but I think that's all the packing that we have to do. Like I said, right now, now for the trip. It's already five o'clock. We still actually need to take the girls over to my parents because they are staying for the entire time there. So we need to go like get them together, drop them off. And then, like I said, we still have some work to do tonight and then we have to get up early. So do you want to go bye-bye to grandma and grandpa's and go see Macy? Yeah. Do you want to go see Macy and go bye-bye to grandma and grandpa's? Mommy and daddy are going to miss you so much. We're gonna be gone for eight days. Eight days. Are you gonna be good? You're gonna listen to grandma and grandpa. And you're gonna be nice to all the other doggies. Right? Right? Good girl. All right, guys, so I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Also, make sure that you guys are following me over on Instagram at Kaylin underscore Kerbler because I'm definitely gonna be posting a lot on stories and on Instagram over there of real time, you know, what we're doing in our trip. So make sure to go follow me over on there. But other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, it was just been a little bit of a chaotic day, a little bit of a chaotic video. If you guys are new here, don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.